In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on August 8, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New York Mets vs. Colorado Rockies The New York Mets are set to wrap up a three-game series against the Colorado Rockies on Thursday at Coors Field in Mile High City. The Mets suffered a 6-3 defeat at the hands of the Rockies in the series opener on Tuesday. With this loss, New York has now dropped three out of their last four games, placing them in third position in the National League East, eight games behind the division-leading Philadelphia Phillies. On the other hand, Colorado's victory on Tuesday marks their fourth win in the last six games. However, the Rockies remain stuck at the bottom of the National League West, a daunting 24 games behind the front-running Los Angeles Dodgers. The Mets have had some success against teams from the National League West recently, winning five of their last seven matchups. In contrast, the Rockies have struggled mightily, losing seven of their last nine games against teams from the National League, including dropping 15 of their last 20 games against opponents from the National League East. New York's offense has been a bright spot this season, ranking eighth in both total runs scored and slugging percentage. Colorado's pitching woes, particularly their league-worst rankings in earned run average, WHIP, and batting average allowed, could provide the Mets with ample opportunities to capitalize, especially in the hitter-friendly conditions of Denver. Mets starting pitcher David Peterson has shown consistency in four of his last five starts, giving up just 10 runs over 26.1 innings, with four of those runs coming in a single game and two runs or fewer in each of his other outings. In contrast, Colorado starter Austin Gomer has struggled, surrendering 13 runs across 21.1 innings, including six home runs during that span. Given the high altitude of Coors Field, both starting pitchers may find it challenging to keep runs off the board in this contest. The Mets have been strong offensively throughout the season, consistently ranking in the top 10 across various categories, including runs, hits, home runs, RBIs, walks, and slugging percentage. They are likely to have success against Gomer and the Rockies' bullpen. While the Rockies may also find some success against Peterson, the Mets possess a superior offense and the ability to generate more power. Although Gomer has shown some effectiveness at home, giving the Rockies a fighting chance, Colorado's overall struggles and inability to win consistently make them a tough team to back. The Mets, who are pushing for a playoff spot, need to capitalize on games like this to improve their chances. David Peterson, despite his somewhat limited role this season, has been reliable, so the New York Mets money line is our full game side pick. David Peterson enters this game with a 3.47 earned run average for New York, while Austin Gomer holds a 4.66 earned run average for Colorado. However, given the conditions at Coors Field, it's likely that both pitchers will give up more runs than usual. In fact, the total has gone over in five of the last six head-to-head -head meetings between these two teams. Oddsmakers have set higher totals for Colorado's home games, and while the total has gone under in 10 of the Rockies' last 13 games at home, this particular matchup is expected to be high scoring with both teams likely to put up plenty of runs on Thursday. With this game being played at Coors Field, it's set to be an offensive showcase between the Mets and the Rockies. Although David Peterson will start for New York and Austin Gomer for Colorado, both are expected to face significant challenges. The Rockies' bullpen has been a weak point, and the Mets are likely to take full advantage. New York's offense has been strong all season, ranking in or near the top 10 in the league across multiple offensive categories. Given these factors, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Angels vs. New York Yankees The New York Yankees, boasting an impressive record of 68-47, are set to host the Los Angeles Angels, who currently hold a 50-64 record, for the third and final game of their three-game series on August 8 at the legendary Yankee Stadium. The Angels are riding high after an 8-2 victory in Game 2, which not only kept them alive in the series but also injected a fresh wave of enthusiasm as they look to carry this momentum forward. On the mound for the Yankees will be Nestor Quartz, 
who is expected to deliver a strong performance to help secure the series win. The Angels, however, will counter with Tyler Anderson, who will be looking to make a significant impact of his own. Fans eager to catch this critical matchup can tune in live via Amazon Prime Video or Bali Sports West, as both teams not only fight for the win but also for crucial positioning in the playoff race. The New York Yankees currently sit in second place in the highly competitive American League East Division with a solid record of 68 to 47, setting the stage for a strong push towards the postseason. Offensively, the Yankees have been a formidable force, averaging 5.16 runs and 8.49 hits per game this season, driven by a team batting average of .252 and a team on base percentage of .335. These impressive statistics have resulted in a run differential of plus 121, highlighting the team's ability to outscore opponents consistently. On the defensive side, the Yankees' pitching staff has been equally effective, holding opponents to an average of 4.09 runs and 7.73 hits per game, while limiting them to a batting average of .230 and an on-base percentage of .308, showcasing their ability to keep opposing offenses in check. Despite a respectable overall record, the Yankees have shown some vulnerabilities, particularly when it comes to the run line. This season, they have posted a 61-54 record against the run line, but certain scenarios have exposed their weaknesses. Their performance at home has been underwhelming, with a 25-30 record, and they've struggled in games following a loss, managing only a 20-26 record in such situations. Recent trends are a cause for concern, as the Yankees failed to cover the run line in their last game and have only done so twice in their last five outings. Nonetheless, given the stakes of this crucial American League East matchup, the New York Yankees to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. On the other side, the Los Angeles Angels currently find themselves in fourth place in the American League West Division, with a record of 50-64. Offensively, the Angels have averaged 4.02 runs and 7.77 hits per game, with a team batting average of .235 and an on-base percentage of .304. However, their offensive struggles are underscored by a minus 96 run differential this season, revealing the challenges they've faced in outscoring their opponents. Defensively, the Angels have been vulnerable, allowing opponents to score an average of 4.88 runs and collect 7.96 hits per game, while the opposition has posted a .239 batting average and a .322 on base percentage against them, further highlighting the team's difficulties in containing opposing offenses. Despite their overall struggles, the Los Angeles Angels have shown a respectable performance against the run line this season, with a solid overall record of 63-51. Their success has been particularly notable in road games where they have achieved a run line record of 30 to 23 away from home. Additionally, the Angels have demonstrated an ability to build on momentum, maintaining a positive run line record of 27 to 22 in games following a win. Although they managed to cover the run line in their most recent game, their form has been somewhat inconsistent, covering in only three of their last seven games. The Los Angeles Angels have managed a 5 to 5 record in their last 10 games, while the New York Yankees have been on a roll, winning eight of their last 10 matchups, including a sweep of the Phillies. Moreover, Angels pitcher Tyler Anderson has struggled recently, giving up three runs on eight hits in his last outing and allowing at least three runs in three of his last four starts. On the other hand, Yankees pitcher Nestor Kortz, despite some recent difficulties, has a solid track record against the Angels. He held them to just two runs over 5.2 innings back in May and has a respectable 3.24 earned run average over 25 career innings against his American League rivals. Additionally, Kortz has been exceptional at Yankee State this season, boasting a stellar 2.48 earned run average at home. Given these factors, backing the Yankees to win and cover the spread as favorites is our recommended full game side pick. The New York Yankees have shown a strong propensity for high-scoring games this season, with 64 of their 115 games surpassing the projected point total. This trend has been even more pronounced in their home games, where 30 out of 55 contests have gone over the posted total. Their recent form has been particularly notable, with their last game exceeding the total and 10 of their last 12 games following suit. In contrast, the Los Angeles Angels have experienced fewer high-scoring games, with only 54 of their 114 contests 
contests going over the projected total. On the road, the Angels games have been split evenly, with 26 out of 53 games going over. While the Angels' last game did exceed the posted total, only three of their previous 11 games have done so. Offensively, the Los Angeles Angels have been decent, scoring four or more runs in six of their last 10 games. However, Quartz has struggled recently, allowing 19 runs in his last 24.2 innings pitched. Meanwhile, the Yankees continue to excel at the plate, scoring five or more runs in eight of their last 10 games. Tyler Anderson, the Angels pitcher, has been less than ideal, pitching 5.2 or fewer innings in two of his last three outings, a concerning trend considering the Angels' bullpen has struggled with a 4.31 earned run average on the season. The over has been a convincing 8-2 in the Yankees' last 10 games, making a strong case for another high-scoring affair. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Baltimore Orioles vs. Toronto Blue Jays The Baltimore Orioles return to Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario, for the third game of their series against the Toronto Blue Jays. The Orioles, boasting a 68-47 record this season, are currently holding the second spot in the American League East. Meanwhile, the Toronto Blue Jays, with a record of 52-62, find themselves in fifth place in the same division. So far this season, the Blue Jays have struggled against the Orioles, managing only five wins out of 12 matchups. Kevin Gaussman, who will be on the mound for Toronto, has historically struggled when facing his former team, the Orioles. In four career appearances against Baltimore at home, Gaussman has yet to record a win, holding a 0-3 record with an earned run average of 6.86, along with just 16 strikeouts. On the other hand, the Baltimore Orioles have been impressive on the road this season, with a 30-18 record as favorites. Moreover, when a series is tied 1-1 and the Orioles are playing Game 3 on the road, they have won four four out of five times this season. If the Blue Jays cannot find a way to stifle Baltimore's potent offense early in the game, we might witness a repeat of the high-scoring affair from the previous night. Considering the Orioles' strong road performance and favorable odds, the Baltimore Orioles' money line is our full game side pick. In their last 10 games, the Baltimore Orioles have consistently seen high-scoring outcomes, with an over-under record of 8-2. Similarly, the Toronto Blue Jays have had a trend toward higher scores, posting a 7-3 over-under record in their last 10 games. Toronto's defense has been a weak spot, likely contributing to the high number of runs allowed. Dean Kremer, the Orioles' starting pitcher, has had his struggles this season, particularly against the Blue Jays on the road, where he holds a 5.4 earned run average. After dropping the series opener, Baltimore bounced back with a solid victory in Game 2, keeping them firmly in the hunt for the top spot in the American League East alongside the New York Yankees. The Orioles have been strong on the road this season, with a 34-22 record away from home, while the Blue Jays have been underwhelming at Rogers Center with a 27-29 home record. Although Baltimore's offense has been among the most prolific in MLB this year, their pitch Pitching staff has shown signs of vulnerability in recent weeks. With both starting pitchers having less than stellar seasons, Dean Kremer with a 4.39 earned run average and Kevin Gaussman with a 4.56 earned run average, there is potential for both teams to capitalize on scoring opportunities. Given the offensive capabilities of both teams and the inconsistency of the pitchers, Thursday's Game 3 could turn into a high-scoring affair. Gaussman's struggles at Rogers Center and Baltimore's dominance over him throughout his career further reinforce this expectation. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.